E, U, A, P, F, K, T. Exactly. This is what I'm going to be showing in my today's video. Today's video will be all about the IPA, International Phonetic Alphabets. And this is Irene from Lead Edu Care. So watch my full video if you have any confusion about the IPA, the symbols and the sounds. To know these, to know all these and to help yourselves to improve your pronunciation, speaking and better your accent, watch the full video. As promised that I would be putting up a new video completely on all the symbols of the IPA. So this video is dedicated to all the symbols that represent every sound to help you understand how to pronounce all these different letters and words in English. As you already know, there are 26 letters in English language, but there are so, these letters make so many different sounds every time. So to ease all the confusion, IPA has come up with 44 symbols. Each of them represent a different sound that will help you, help you better your pronunciation. If you practice your daily pronunciation, um, as I suggested, following these IPA, you will be able to speak English fluently and with correct pronunciation. So, without further ado, let us hit the course. So, we already know there are five vowels in English, right? We know that, don't we? Have we forgotten? If we have, then let us quickly go back and remember what those vowels are. There are five vowels in English. A, E, I, O, and U. Yes, so these are the vowels. Now, in the IPA, there are more vowels than just these five. Don't be scared. I'm going to be showing you all the symbols and their sounds. So stick with me. So the, these vowels, some of them sound very long, some of them sound very short, and some of them sometimes do not make any sound. So let's go through them. This one here, this is the symbol. I'll be showing all the symbols of the IPA and their sounds. So this symbol represents the sound E, 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 E. This one here represents the sound E, E, E. See how the second one is longer than the first one? This one again makes a sound uh, uh, uh. And this one makes a sound ooh, ooh, ooh. See how my mouth moved and how different sounds came with each of the different symbols. You have to practice them out loud with me and you have to practice these pronunciations, these sounds daily, making a routine as I suggested in my other videos. So do that to improve your pronunciation, better your speaking and be more confident. So let us check more of these sounds. Stick with me. This one makes the sound eh, eh. And this one makes the sound eh, eh. This one here, again, makes the sound eh, eh, eh. And this one makes the sound oh, oh, oh. Now come on, try them out loud with me. Go back, rewind the video and try saying these sounds out loud. Don't push in your voice, push your voice out loudly with me. Try these again. More to go, more to go. This one makes a sound, uh. This one makes a sound, uh, uh. And this one makes a sound, er, uh, er. Uh. And this one makes a sound, Oh, 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 come on, practice, practice, and more practice. Now that we have practiced the vowels, we will move to the diphthongs. Now, don't get scared yet. Diphthongs are the change of the sounds of this vowel when they change from one vowel to another, but within the same syllable. So let us start. The first one, ear, ear, ear. The second one, eh, eh, eh. This one here sounds like ooh, ooh, ooh. 
And this one sounds like ow, ow, ow. This one is very simple. Oh, oh, oh. And this one, a, a. This one sounds like i, i, i. And this one sounds like oi, oi, oi. Come on, practice these sounds with me. They're not confusing. In fact, I find these sounds a lot much more fun than the previous ones. Come on now, practice. After all, practice makes you perfect, remember? Next on our list are the unvoiced consonants. The unvoiced consonants are the consonants that we say, but we don't actually make the sound. You see, we make our sound from this part of our vocal. But sometimes the air that moves out through our mouth and through our lips also make the sound. So unvoiced consonants, when we are pronouncing them, we have to make sure that we don't make the sound from our throat, but with the air coming out of our mouth. So this is the list of the unvoiced consonants. Have a look. Now let us practice the sounds. The first one P, P, P. Second, F, F, F. Third, T, T, T. Fourth, F, F, F. Use the tip of your tongue. Don't touch it completely, just lightly with the front of your teeth. Fifth, Then this. Then. Then this one. And the last. Remember, these are the unvoiced consonants. Now that we're done with the unvoiced consonants, let's have a look at the voiced one. Remember, to pronounce the voice consonants, you have to make sound from this part of your throat. So, here is the list of the voice consonants. Come on, have a quick but focused look at it. Let us begin now. So, the first one, the sound is B, B, B. This one sounds V, 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 V. See how my mouth moves? This one makes sound do, 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 do. This one makes a sound. This one makes a sound. You, 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 you. This one makes a sound. And this one makes a sound. This one makes a sound g, 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 and this one makes a sound um, um, um. This one makes a sound n, n. This one makes a sound um, um, um. This one makes a sound r, r. This one makes a sound l. Uh, uh. And this one makes sound wo, wo. And this one, the last one, makes a sound here, here, here. See how my mouth moved? Notice with the sounds that came out with each of these symbols. Come on now, try making these sounds. Try saying these words. Move your, the muscles of your mouth. Let your mu muscles of your mouth get adjusted. To making these sounds. International phonetic alphabets, their symbols, their sounds, understanding them, memorizing them, remembering them and practicing pronunciation daily is very important if you really want to sound fluent, native and perfect your pronunciation. I hope this video helps you recognize the symbols and the sounds, practice them 
and your English improves. If it does, don't be, don't be stingy, share this video with all your loved ones, hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe so that we feel more motivated to make more useful videos. This is Irene signing up for today. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye.